Hello everybody, it's Saturday the 2nd of December Peter the Rock looking east along the slough arm of the Grand Union Canal and scanning round some steps up there to a I'm not sure where that is, a little side road but the main event is just ahead of me which is the M25 which we're about to go under now, I don't know about you, but I estimate that the motorway is only, it's less than 20 feet, maybe about 15 feet above the path, which is, uh, you may think, well, so what? And I wouldn't blame you, but uh, it's all relative, and HS2 is uh, going to be 30 foot above the ambient ground level which includes lakes and uh, and the waterways some miles north of here so here we are with the noise of the traffic only feet away from my head above me suddenly disappearing as we go underneath which is rather nice and of course the graffiti gets more and more colourful it's almost well, I suppose the, peop the artists would say that it is art. But over the years, it's got a lot more colour. I don't know what any of it means. I'm sure it means something. Uh, when they uh, first inspected the Great Pyramid of Cheops, or Cheops, Khufu, why did people have so many names? Anyway, they went up and they discovered in the, in the Great Chamber, the burial chamber, above it several other chambers uh, to support the w massive weight of the pyramid above it and right in the very top chamber there were people who'd, who'd uh, inscribed their names or dates or whatever going back a very long time I don't think the Egyptians did that but the people who got to a place like that so remote really uh, felt the need to but um, it's something I don't understand. Um, perhaps people want to leave their mark. And who am I to complain about that? Because here I am making a YouTube video. Anyway, the canal is rather a nice place to be. I'd rather be on the canal than on the motorway. But that's just a personal preference. You may like prefer to be on the motorway. I'm sure a lot of people driving on the motorway don't even know the canals here. Uh, well, if they did know and looked out for it, there could be a few accidents when we don't want that. So it's the strange thing is, it's like being in a rural situation, uh, only feet away from a very urban uh, phenomenon. But there we go. Um, there's a little side road up ahead which uh, connects bits of either to other bits of either. And I might well bail out from my mission to Slough and either go to the railway station or some sort of bus stop or even walk back because I'm a bit, a bit fed up with uh, avoiding boggy bits and slurry and puddles and and the cold I'm only human anyway I, um, I've enjoyed the walk not much wildlife there were a couple of swans a bit earlier That's my, well, the funny thing is this side of the motorway you can't see the traffic because it's got a fence but you can on the other side I wonder why that is uh, there was a, a big discussion when the M25 was proposed to go through the Colne Valley. A lot of people didn't like the idea of the sounds of it. And sure enough, you can hear the motorway for miles around all, all times of the day and night. Not very loud, but it's there. Anyway, uh, for, for those of you who haven't been along the slough arm of the Granin Canal, my bet is that if you do do this, you'll probably come by bicycle. Now the reason I say that 
is the evidence in the deeper of the uh, the puzzles and boggy bits seems to be all cycle tracks and barely any footprints so in some ways I'm a pioneer walker <laughs> along a part of the canal which doesn't seem to be particularly popular um, it's about five miles to Slough altogether I've only done about a mile um, uh, but there are interesting bits ahead but given that the time is about half past three I won't have enough daylight to see them today but I do appreciate you watching thanks very much for that Peter the Rock signing off Saturday the 2nd of December cheers